Hello everyone, my name is Loco and welcome to a new Hearthstone video. Today we're gonna take a look at a current mid-range hunter deck that is extremely popular and very very good to run the ladder with right now. Now before we jump into the game, um, it's actually raining and thundering outside right now. So if you hear any weird sounds, that is probably me. You don't have rainy mood on or anything, it's probably me. Anyways, uh, this is going to be a mid-range hunter deck with the only legendary that's in there, it's Maxna. And Maxna is the card that you get for free from the very first wing of Nax Ramas. Um, and all in all, this deck is extremely cheap. It's a very strong mid-range deck that works extremely well in the current meta where pretty much the entire ladder, especially between ranked 15 and legend, are completely filled with a ton of Zulox. So let's jump into some actual gameplay. Alright, so here we go. We are playing versus a Shaman Knight right now. Now, the creator of this deck, called Naxavari, actually claims to have 75% win rate with this deck. And he managed to go from rank 4 to legend in one evening, playing this exact deck right here. Um, now, we're up against a Shaman. He has a couple of tricky... A uh, couple of tricky things that we're gonna deal with. So, I'm just gonna keep the Animal Companion for now. Uh, should be fine, should be fine. Um, but all in all, he says this deck has been extremely, uh, extremely useful and a lot of people right now on the internet are raving about this exact deck. It is extremely good right now. I'm not gonna coin anything out or anything, just gonna end my turn. Now obviously, mid-range hunter in general has a couple of very good matchups and a couple of really bad ones. So keep in mind that if you're watching this video from like a half year or like a half year from now, it might not be as efficient as... Uh, as you would be hoping for. There we got the Unleash the Hounds already, which is nice. Uh, do I want to coin out my Animal Companion right here? Um, or do I just want to coin out an Eagle Horn Bow? Or do I not coin out anything? Actually, I'm going to coin out the Eagle Horn Bow, because I don't really have turn 2 play. Don't really want it to build that much spell power. Just going to kill it early on. Now keep in mind, I am not the best player in the world. I'm currently at rank 8. Been messing around with a couple of different decks and also I will leave a link to the actual deck in the description below. So if you want to take a look at it right there, you definitely can. Um, I guess I'll just, um, I guess I'll just play my Animal Companion right now, hope for a Huffer. That is not a Huffer, doesn't even look like a Huffer, doesn't really matter though. Um, no, actually gonna end my turn, there's no reason for him to hit him in the face. Um, now, if he does a lot of shenanigans, I can go for the Explosive Trap as well. Yeah, I think it's gonna be my best bet. Um, or even for Unleash the Hounds. Hmm, let's have a look. Alright, we get a Timberwolf. Timberwolf, Unleash the Hounds. Um, as well as this guy would actually let all my wolves deal 3 damage. Um, I guess that might actually be my best bet right now. Okay, so I'm gonna play the Timberwolf as well as Unleash the Hounds. And then hit these guys in the face. Um, I'll actually take some actual damage to the face as well. <clears throat> Finish it up like that. Alright. So far, so good. He might have like a lightning storm or whatever available. He is pretty heavy overloaded right now, having only 3 mana. So, it's it's not the worst, it's not the worst. Yeah, Mana Tide Totem is instantly gonna die, he's just going for the one card draw right there. It's a bit risky by him. Alright. Um, do we Animal Companion and... Uh, hit him in the face with a Steady Shot or do we Hound Master one of them? I guess we might as well just Animal Companion right here, hope it's a Huffer. Oh well, I'm not complaining, I'm not complaining, that works for me. Boom. Hit him in the face with a steady shot. So, so far you can see the strength of this deck, right? It's It's been going really well already and I haven't really done any uh, any real tricks or whatever. I've just been playing straight up, uh, pretty easy turns to make and I haven't really had to make any decisions. Now, if he plays any big minions, um, he's likely fishing for a uh, spell power right there. Oh, I'm not getting it. Um, but he's, you know, if, if he plays any big minions, I can just kill command it and just get it over with. So he is gonna go for the Earth Shock, whatever. Has to spend it on something. Uh, so I get my scavenging hyena out right now. Um, got my explosive trap as well. Not really gonna do very much with that though. Um, question is, do I want to kill command anything right here, or would I rather not? Um, yeah, so I can't really kill it that easily. 
I can just use one kill command considering I have two anyway. Or I can keep my kill commands for later on in the game and houndmaster that guy up. Alright, let's do it like that. I just steady shot it right here. He doesn't really have a way to clean it up. Next turn, if this stays alive, I got 9, 14, plus 10 damage. I actually have 24 damage next turn. So if it doesn't manage to kill me right here, I will win. Um, Alright. So there we max nice. Um, can I kill him right here? I think I can just barely not kill him. I'm gonna have to... I could just waste my double kill command on that. Um, he did manage to actually bring me down pretty low health, so there's a big chance he's gonna do a lightning storm next turn. Uh, which isn't ideal, it's not the worst either. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna have to try and get as much damage done right now as possible. Likely gonna lightning storm. This is a 3 overlord, meaning that he will be at 5 mana next turn. So he could do some trickiness, but not that much. Mm. Alright. I think I'm just gonna go for one kill command right here. And then run my lowest attack minion into it. It's not ideal though, because obviously it will not really work very well against the... Uh, <coughs> and, and my one buff will be gone. Um, I guess we'll do it like this. Not the most mana efficient right there, but whatever. Um, he is definitely gonna lightning storm if he can. And at that point, we will have a scavenging hyena, max knot, and explosive trap if we want to play it next. As well as a kill command to finish it off. So, so far so good. It's actually gonna go for the totem, and boom, lightning storm. Not a lightning storm? Oh, that's actually surprising. Oh, lightning bolt. Alright, alright. That's okay. Um, so we could play our max knot right now. Um... Still cannot finish him off, sadly. No, that's not gonna happen. Um, so, playing a taunt would be acceptable, but I think I'd rather go with Maxna, just in case he plays a big minion next turn. Then I will be able to clean it up with no problems at all. Don't really need a taunt myself. There we go, hitting him. And the question is, do I steady shot here, or would I rather scavenging Aina? Scavenging Aina has a lot of potential, but I think I saved that for my second Unleash the Hounds when it does come out. Um, so I'm just gonna steady shot him. Just gonna steady shot. If he keeps any of my minions alive right here, obviously um, I will be able to just kill command him to the face. Um, Max Knight is, by the way, considered a beast, so your kill command does benefit from that. Yeah, he's gonna have to try and deal with that. Well, he's gonna hex it. That's alright with me. If he doesn't taunt right now, it is gonna be game. Oh, fork the lightning, wow. Just barely getting it right there. Um, we need a taunt in order to do anything right here. I think I'm just gonna go for my tracking. Or we, we need a charge right here to do anything. Um, do I have lethal with an eagle horn bow? Do I have enough mana? I think I just have enough mana. Yep, I got enough mana, sweet. So I'm gonna play my scavenging hyena, kill command him to the face, play my eagle horn bow, and hit him right there. So boom! Game number one going in our favor, quite convincingly right there. Let's jump into another one. Wow, looks like we actually got a hunter versus hunter, so there's a really big chance my opponent is playing the same deck. I've, enge I've encountered this deck a couple of times myself. Um, so what do we keep? Oasis Snapjaw Houndmaster is a very nice combo, but we really don't have any use for any of those cards. Explosive Trap, do we keep you? Do you think he's gonna play a lot of minions? Is he gonna play any Rushy? Not really. Let's just uh, get rid of all of these cards. It's not very best draw right there. Alright, alright, that looks a bit nicer. That looks a bit nicer. Obviously, Unleash the Hound, Starving Buzzard combo is very, very strong. Uh, but he gets turn one. Well, not doing anything. Actually, another Unleash the Hounds, wow. We can get like the sickest card draw going <laughs> with a uh, Starving Buzzard and Double Unleash. Um, but yeah, there's a big chance my opponent is running the exact same deck as I am right now. Simply because that is so popular. Um, apparently he's named Tarimoth. Tarimoth.
No, he's running something else. Um, can't quite play my Stampeding Kodo, sadly. Could coin out an Eagle Horn. Um, do I have any use for an Eagle Horn bow right now? Do I have another turn 3 play? I don't really have a turn 3 play. Um, I could just play a Freezing Trap as well. I got a second one in my deck. Is there anything really that I'm scared of of him playing? Um, not that many things, to be honest. I might as well just play a Freezing Trap and just get it over with. I do have a second one in my deck. Um, but I'm not completely sure if that's the best. The best one right now. I mean, that would kind of stop him from playing that. He could be running a Max Knight himself as well. Um, as well as another... Uh, actually, let's just steady shot him. Let's just steady shot him. It's probably the safer all-round option. Next turn, um, I'll Eagle Hornbow and kill that thing off. Not the best draw for me, though. He's definitely having a slight advantage right now, especially if he plays a turn 3 drop. Oh, no, he doesn't have a turn 3. Okay. So it's not all that bad. Welcome Max not to the family. My god, the rain is really going quite crazy outside. <laughs> I think you guys can hear that quite well, but... Oh well. Alright, so my turn 4 could be a coin Stampede and Kodo. Um, could also be a coin starving buzzard unleash if he really plays a lot of stuff Could also be a freezing trap if he plays like a big minion um, Which he really can't but if he plays like a king crush or whatever I believe king crush is four mana and he doesn't seem to have like the best uh, the best setup either all right, so I Wonder what kind of secret that is that would probably be a freezing trap wouldn't it be or maybe like something like, I don't know. I think I'm just gonna play one Starving Buzzard right here. Um, and just hit him in the face with my Steady Shot. Let's see, does it get... No, no, nothing happens right now. So I'll just Steady Shot it and just end my turn. Um, it's likely one of these... Um, it's likely gonna be a Freezing Trap. Could also be a... Could also be a... Oh wow, he's actually gonna get rid of it like that. But um, it could also be a, um, what's that trap called? Like the explosive trap? But I don't know. Let's just play the Stampeding Kodo, get rid of that guy. Don't want to keep that one up for sure. And I'm going to end my turn again. I think it would be a freezing trap. And in that case, I would be okay with my Stampeding Kodo getting freezing trapped. I would not mind that whatsoever. It's a bit of an annoying card right there. Hmm. Alright. So I have my Unleash the Hounds for next turn if I really want it. Um, I think I'm gonna run my Kodo in first to figure out what kind of minion that is. Oh, it is an explosive trap. Okay. That's fine. Um, question is do I play Maxna here or not? Max Knight is probably going to be my best bet right now. Especially considering he's likely going to play more minions next turn. It will just sort of clean up everything. Um, and I'm going to end my turn here. So he kind of wants the Savannah High Man to die, right? Like, it doesn't really matter for him if he dies. If, uh, if, if it dies. I don't have uh, my Owl in hand yet. My Owl is somewhere in those 20 cards. Meaning that at that point it will be very good. Is he going to unleash here? Okay. That's kind of interesting. I guess he's just going for the card troll right there. And go for the timber wolf. All right. So he is running sort of a similar deck. I guess it's also a mid-range hunter, but a little bit different. Now I ideally draw my iron beak owl right here. Oh my god, <laughs> that thunder outside right there. He's actually going full face. Okay, so there we go. You called. Silence that guy. Hit that thing in the face. I actually should have unleashed here myself first. That's a misplay. That is a misplay. I should have unleashed first. Got a bit greedy there. I got a bit greedy. I guess it wouldn't really matter because I wouldn't be able to uh, fit it on the board anyway, but... 
That's gonna clean all of these guys up. And um, I'm gonna do some uh, some tracking. Actually, gonna go for my own Savannah Jaime right there. Um, unless she has double kill command, it would be very difficult uh, for for him to win. But I'm not feeling too too safe right now. No, another unleash the hounds. Oh god, does he have my lethal? Does he have lethal right now? An animal companion? Not a huffer. Not a huffer. Okay. Well, there's three damage only. That's not enough. Scavenging Aina. Oh, he's actually gonna run them in. We gotta watch out. He might actually have the upper hand right here. Oh well. Um, I guess we're gonna card draw right here. Do the, is there anything I can really hope for here? Um, that will save me next game. He does obviously have the um, steady shot as well. I really am gonna need a timber wolf, am I not? I'm pretty sure I am. Let's give it a try like this. Get some card draw going. Come on. An eagle horn. That's a haunted creeper. Come on. All right, we got a timber. Okay, wait, 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 wait. We can actually clean it up right here. We can actually clean it up. Just barely, what we can. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> that is so close right there. Um, I guess I'm just gonna hit him in the face right now as well. I wonder if we managed to win this one. It would be it would be so surprising to me. But we are still here. We got the deadly shot draw perfectly in time. Oh god. No, 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 no. Oh, it's actually a trap. Okay. Yeah, that's definitely another explosive trap. I need to have lethal right here if I want to do anything. Um, do I have lethal? I don't think so. Well, <clears throat> I do have an, uh, a freezing trap still, obviously. That freezing trap is still there. Which means I can survive another turn. Just sort of counting right now. Um, my god, it's going real crazy outside. I could also kill it if I really wanted to, but... Do I value card draw more right now than taking a little bit of damage? I think so. Um. Alright, we're gonna have to take a little risk right here. We're gonna have to take a little risk right here. Play the freezing trap here. Um, and then I think I'm gonna taunt up the Houndmaster. Or the, um, the scavenging Aina. It's probably going to be my best choice right here. Oh shit! Oh no, I forgot! Oh no, no, I forgot! Oh no, I forgot about the two damage that it also do to my hero. No! Alright, alright, alright. That was a bit silly by me. I thought I was being all smart and clever right there, but that didn't work out. Okay, okay, we can do one more. One more final game. I can already imagine the comment section where guys are gonna be like, Oh my god, this is painful to watch. This guy is so bad. I'm sorry guys, I make misplays. I'm aware. It's cool though, I'm having a lot of fun here. Um... So we're up against a warrior, actually. I haven't seen that one in forever. Really, not not recently. Um, I guess I will keep my tracking, because I don't really have another suitable one drop right here. Got my timber whoop, but I don't really want to play that turn one. Alright, Mr. Mr. Uh, Traveler. <laughs> Let's see what we can draw. Uh... See, it all depends on what he plays, right? Do I want an animal companion rather than a deadly shot? Or do I rather want an animal companion? 
Or do I rather want the deadly shot, I mean? Don't really want to keep- like, all of these cards are good, actually. It kind of sucks. Um, but it's okay. I'm gonna go with... Animal Companion. End my turn. Obviously, the other two cards are, are thrown out, pretty much, so... Won't see that anymore. No more Stampeding Kodo, and also... No deadly shot in this game. Um, I think I'm just gonna freezing trap right here. I mean, he is gonna have, um, he's gonna cost stand four mana. I have a second freezing trap in hand. And as long as I manage to survive to the later part of the game, I'm good. There we go. Going for the Harvest Golem. That's acceptable. And I'm gonna just Animal Companion it up right here. That is really the one I did not want. Why do they keep giving me this one? <laughs> they really, really think I enjoy the, uh, the, uh, what is it even called? Leok. Leok. I wanna, I didn't actually wanna hover right there either. That might have actually been a pretty big misplay right there, to be honest. Mm, looks like he's gonna clean that up. Going for another fairy dragon. He's actually going full face. Alright. Are we going face warrior? That's okay. That's okay. Um, so, if I play my Huntmaster right here, it will mean that it is at 6 life, right? Meaning, he's gonna have to waste both of Axe as well as the Fry Dragon next turn um, if he wants to clean it up. That is not the best thing in the world, I'll be honest. That is not ideal. Um, I could also... I could also Eagle Horn right here. Also not a big fan of that. I kind of want to keep my Unleashed Timberwolf. That might be my best play though. Unleashed Timberwolf right here. I'd rather have him out of another minion though. Alright, we're just gonna do it. We're just gonna Unleash here. Um, and as well the Timberwolf. Not sure if that is not if that is the best way to go about it, but... We clean things up, right? We clean things up. There we go. So he's likely gonna hit one of these two minions in the face, which I'm okay with. Um, let's hope he doesn't have like a whirlwind. Actually got Nightblade? Wow, he really is full face. A Nightblade? I haven't seen a Nightblade since I've started playing this game, I don't think. Um. Okay, so I'm gonna coin right here. Do I rather want to Safina high main or do I rather want a max now? I think I'd rather have the Savannah High main right here. He's not really attacking my minions anyway. Deal damage to him. Can play my Max on next turn anyway, so I'd rather get in the extra damage in the turn before that. It's a bit easier. Could also Houndmaster Steady Shot next turn if I really want to. Um, obviously, Houndmastering a 7 5 makes it a. Um, well, it's gonna make it an 8-7, uh, an which is still a lot. A second Nightblade, wow. Wow, okay. So I think we're gonna Huntmaster right here. We're probably better off Huntmastering. Actually gonna play my Starving Buzzard as well. If he manages to kill the Hunt or the... Uh, if he manages to kill the Savannah right there, it will obviously draw me a couple of cards, which is useful. Um, question is, do I kill one of these things, or do I rather just hit him in the face? He's gonna have to hit me anyway. As you can see right there, so I'd rather just hit him in the face. I mean, if he's gonna clean it up, he's gonna have to waste two of these minions anyway, right? So I might as well do it like this. Whatever happens, I will get two free card draws out of it, pretty much guaranteed. Unless he manages to silence it, which I don't think he is running. Um, because he's going so full face. Then I'll play my Max now, likely next turn, depending on what he does. Alright, going for the Ardent Commander. Ew, what's up, Hyena? Well, his board is cleaned up no matter what.
Um, okay. So I think we're best off playing a scavenging hyena right here to get it some buffs. Um, it was actually quite a nice play right there by him, but not too troublesome. Do I rather play a Maxna here or do I rather play a scavenging hyena? I think I'd rather actually play the Maxna. If he's gonna play a big minion next turn, it will be pretty much guaranteed dead. It will actually be guaranteed dead. Um, I'd actually just trade my two. Okay, so if he has any big minions in his board or in his deck right now, uh, or his hand rotter right now, it will be dead right away, right? Because Maxima just sort of kills things. Uh, for anyone wondering how it works, it's basically like a big snake. There's this snake card that is pretty similar to this. Um, and, well, that's not ideal. That is also not the worst. I wish the hounds would be quite useful. Mm. Alright, let's have a look at tracking. A kill command or an explosive trap? Do I rather have an explosive trap? I think I do. Or do I- no, 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 actually, I think I'd rather want to kill command right here, because I can also use that for phase later on. Mm. So we can kill it, we can clean it up right here. Which I am gonna do. I'll play my scavenging hyena right here. I could actually kill command that thing down. That might actually be my best choice right here. Save some damage on my face. Alright. That works. That works as well. And my turn. Um, there's so many options right there that it's kind of hard to judge exactly which was the best one. I'm not sure if that was the best one, but it worked out well right there. Um, whatever he plays, it's pretty much gonna die instantly. I get a Hunter's Mark as well. Um, the only thing I, uh, oh well, actually going for the Ardent Commander. Oh, a Houndmaster. Houndmastering up a Maxna. Gotta be pretty frustrating to play against. <laughs> that gotta be quite annoying to play against. I can only imagine. I can only imagine. Um, because he's forced to attack it, right? So it's gonna take a lot of damage. Or it's gonna cut a lot of kills. Maxna is pretty much always worth it, it seems like. There's really not a situation where Maxna isn't worth it. There we go. So I also played my Phasing Trap right there. Um, because he is playing so much phase minions, I wouldn't really want it to like that. Boom. <laughs> Show me what you're made of, sir. He could he could play the Argent Commander again, but it will get destroyed. Yeah, he's actually considering it. He's actually considering it. Alright. That's a very expensive one. So it only destroys the shield, but that's fine. <clears throat> oh, is he actually gonna hit it? Is he actually gonna hit it? Um, that means he's dead. I mean, that was that was an interesting one right there, but we're just gonna hit him in the face and just get it over with. So so far, this deck has been pretty damn good for me. If you actually enjoyed this deck and you actually enjoyed the gameplay, make sure you give the deck a try, but also hit that like button below to show me that you liked it. And if you really enjoyed it and you want to see more Hearthstone content, definitely make sure to hit the subscribe button because you will be the very first one to get a notification when I upload a new video, which I do pretty much every single day. So I want to thank you guys all for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile and I will see you again in the next video. Bye.